Good morning class. Today, let's have this checking your understanding about range, variance, and standard deviation. Let's have this problem. Given the distribution 34, 35, 45, 56, 32, 25, and 40, find the mean, range, population variance, sample variance, population standard deviation, sample standard deviation. Create a table for the solution. Okay, so we have this data. First is we need to find the mean. What is the formula in finding the mean again? Okay, very good. That's correct. You simply add all the data and divide it by the number of data. How many data do we have? Okay, we have 7 data. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Very good. We have 7 data and that is our N. Now, we have this mean, 38.14, by simply adding the data and divide, it, it, and divide it by the number of data, which is 7. How about the range? We have here 31, 56 minus 25. What is 56? Very good. It is our highest data. How about 25? Okay, it is our lowest data. So first, to find the mean, you have to identify the highest data which is 56 here and the lowest data which is 25 and then you subtract and find its difference so you have 31 31 is our range now since we have the mean we can now create the table okay so this is the table so you have x is this is for your score or for your data and then 267 is the total we have this how did we get negative 4.14? Anyone? Okay, so negative 4.14, we get negative 4.14 by simply subtracting 34 and the mean 38.14. If you are confused, you can have this, this symbol. This is the score minus the mean. So this is the mean. So nana si bar din ha. So lupad man. Anyway, so that is how you, f you solve this second column. You simply subtract 34, the data, and the mean. So you will have negative 4.14. Means, can I omit directly all the negatives here? Yes, you can. Some of the books, wala na siya negative degree because gikuha ng absolute value. But if you want to get all the negatives here, you put some absolute value in your in your this one notation here so that's how you solve this one so 35 minus 38.14 you will have negative 3.14 the same process until to the last data 40 minus 38.4 38.14 so you will have 1.86 so you have this as your total next is your square so your square here is just as you can see same notation e the square lang. it only means that this this data here will be squared, it will multiply by itself. So, negative 4.14 becomes 17.14. You have negative 3.14 squared, you will have 9.86. The same process to the last data, 1.86 squared, you will have 3.46. Now, as you can see, there is no negative here and all are positive because when you square a negative, negative times negative, you will have a positive score. The same with positive. Positive and positive, you will have positive. Okay, now let's try to solve this one. This is our variance and population variance because of this notation. So the popula population variance is simply this, which is already this, the summation of your score minus the mean squared. So you, you will just substitute it directly. So you will have 606.86, your n here is 7, so you will have a variance, population variance of 86.7. Okay, let's have the sample variance. Okay, the sample variance is this one. Now, why is this 6? Okay, very good. It is stated here, it's n minus 1. So your 7 minus 1, that is 6. So you divide this, 606.86 over 6 is 101.14. Now, let's have this. What is this? 
Very good. Standard deviation. It is population standard deviation. So, the difference is na siya square root. So, plug in na nato or substitute nato. So, you have this. You substitute 606.86 divided by 7. And square root of the answer, you will have 9.31. And lastly, our... This is our standard deviation, sample standard deviation. This is the equation. You substitute directly. We have the numer numerator as 606.86. Why is our new denominator 6? Okay, it's just n minus 1, that is 7 minus 1, which is 6. So your answer is 10.06. Very good. You have We have already answered our Problem. So, this is how you solve the population um, variance, sample variance. You have the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation. If you try to check, if you square root this 86.7, you will arrive with 9.31. If you square root 101.14, you will arrive with 10.06. Now, the same, if, if you square this one, you multiply it by itself, you will arrive 101.14. And you multiply it by, by itself, you will arrive with 86.7. So this is our answer. And very good. You will have a perfect score. And this is also a, a tamdanan ninyo sa basis ninyo as sa inyong assignment. Okay, so that's all. We have now checked your understanding and I know you really, you have this understanding already. Just follow the steps and the rules and have a good day. See you in our next